The education sector in Oman is, as you'd imagine, huge and now quite varied. There are a lot of uh, government schools, a lot of private schools uh, has opened up so the education uh, sector is much more diverse than what it used to be. In 1970 we started with three schools, you know, and say in 2010 I think it reached like, you know, a thousand schools, 400 private schools, you know, half a million students enrolled. That is a big big jump, you know, in, in, in such a short time. We're still an evolving uh, uh, country. We just started 45 years ago. And change doesn't happen overnight. Success doesn't happen uh, overnight. We have been exposed to many different cultures. We have worked in many different countries. We have mingled with different populations around the world. So if there's anything Oman has to offer, it's that outward thinking, openness, that you really don't get anywhere else but in Oman. When it comes to talent, uh, I'm really optimistic here because of the solid education system that we have and because the ongoing process of assessment and because of the international standards that we always try to adapt and bring in different experiences, we will have more talents to come. As students, they will prove themselves more and they will pave their ways really to get into what they need and what we expect from them. Young Oman is almost like a sponge. They want to learn, they want to grow. So Oman is basically the place to be for any entrepreneur who wants to set up uh, and, and basically utilize this young uh, workforce and very talented workforce and who is willing to learn and grow uh, with the company. So the economy is booming, it's growing, and from the educational sector, it's in, in a sense, it's easier. Uh, they don't have to worry too much about exporting everybody there are jobs available here. Every economy is dependent on its primary raw material, which is people. So people development is very, very important. If you can develop the right leaders, the right managers and the right entrepreneurs within a fast-growing economy, you've got a much better chance of unlocking that potential and so growing and developing the economy um, into the future. With our uh, teachers, we put a lot of uh, efforts in their training. Uh, we have a special centre which was uh, just established recently on training teachers and training school principals. I think talent and the education of, of leaders, the education of managers, the education of professionals, the education of entrepreneurs should be the number one agenda for any public or private sector institution in the country and in the region. Omanis are really exposed now to everywhere and they are also working in many different fields which you know 10, 20 years ago we, we never heard of or thought about. We make it very clear to employers that institutes or training centres, whatever you wish to call them, cannot do the job on their own. You have to integrate with the employer. The employer has to take on some of the, the challenge to integrate the worker into it. So when they do arrive, ready to start work, it's a much smoother transition. It's not about giving somebody knowledge, but how do you help them develop that knowledge and use the knowledge for their own benefit, for their company's benefit, for the national benefit at the end of the day. And that's why Oman is really the environment. Oman is really the place where you can really get that potential of youth. We now have everything in place, you know, the infrastructure, policies. Now we have no excuse from our students and our youth really to unleash that potential they have.